Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, let's read this book together. Pip and Posy, The Friendly Snail by Axel Scheffler. Let's get started. It was a lovely day. Pip was doing some gardening. Posy was having fun. Bam, bam, went her drum. La, la, she sang. Boing, boing, she bounced. Could you please be a little quieter, Posy? asked Pip. Just then, Pip found a snail. It was a very friendly snail. Wee, said Posy. Shh, Posy, said Pip. Pip gave the snail some lettuce to eat. The snail looked happy. Posy appeared. Brim, 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 she shouted. The snail disappeared. Inside its shell, Posy said, "Pip, you've scared my snail. Your games are too noisy. Go away." Posy felt sad. She had meant to scare the snail. Poor Posy. Pip raked the soil. He planted some seeds, and he sprinkled the seeds with water. Pip didn't notice a bird looking at the snail. The bird got closer and closer and closer. Oh dear! Ra! Rod of voice. Pip jumped. Go away, you big greedy bird! Shouted the voice again. The bird flew into the sky, and the snail dropped to the ground. Posy came out from behind the bush. "Oh, Posy," said Pip, "it was you. Your loud voice saved the snail." "I'm sorry, Posy," said Pip. "Sometimes it's really good to be noisy." Can we be friends again? Yes, of course we can," said Posy. After that, they played a very noisy game. "Hoo woo!" shouted Posy. "Ya ha!" shouted Pip. And then they had a nice, quiet afternoon. Hooray! Pip and Posy are spending time outside, but Posy is being noisy and scares away the snail that Pip found. Oh dear! A pitch perfect story about friendship for the very young. The end of story. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like for more stories to come. See you next time. Bye bye.